As a category manager, I try to understand what products people want, working with our engineering team and our marketing team to bring it to life. The main vision for Pioneer Series 6 was all about making it lighter, making it quieter. The vehicles are, are reducing the weight loads capacity of their roofs. So we wanted to make sure that we had a lighter product so that people could still maximise the use of their roof. We needed to look at weight, but we also knew that uh, there was an opportunity to reduce drag and reduce noise. We'd done some initial research and that initial research had demonstrated some good opportunities. Three main objectives, reduce drag, reduce noise, it's associated with that, and also reduce the weight. Of the, of the rack. We started to use CFD, which is computational fluid dynamics, uh, which is a computer simulation method to analyze uh, airflow. That allowed us to look in detail the airflow, how it's flowing over the rack, and specifically what parts of the rack relative to the vehicle are generating the, the major areas of noise and drag. Prototypes would be developed, put on vehicle roofs, and driven down the freeway. That gave us pretty good indication straight away as to how good this was compared to the previous version. Typically, our results have shown a reduction of drag between five to six of around 60%, so which is very significant. You can reduce drag quite easily by making your, your design very thin, but then it becomes weak. So to make it uh, stronger, you need to add more material in or use more expensive materials. Constantly balancing these uh, conflicting requirements was probably the biggest challenge through the project. We used higher strength alloys. They allow us to reduce the weight whilst maintaining the durability of the platform. So, so you can use less material, but still achieve the same level of strength and durability. Testing for the new Pioneer Series 6 um, has undergone the same sort of testing as what we do for all Rhino Rack products. We try to cover off durability testing as much as possible. We take it above and beyond what the typical user is going to take the product. We like to take the product to the point where it's going to fail and that we can see what are those areas that are failing so we can address those areas. We do uh, vibration testing in a, in a laboratory where the vibration is looking at durability. You can continue running it for as long as possible um, to see where things may fail. We do corrosion testing with salt spray testing, we do UV uh, stability testing. So we look at a, a range of things about the longevity and safety of the product. We chose to remove the apertures from the channels to allow the consumer to use every square millimeter of the channel. A lot of uh, accessories fit to the side extrusions and to enable them to still use their accessories, we've got this quick lock corner piece. It's a simple clip lock. Remove the clip, uh, add, your, add your channel nuts and put the, put the corner piece back on again. Every project you learn something from it and you take that then into the next project. It's been yeah, really quite rewarding to work on this and to, to achieve these targets and, and to get the product to market.